something in the water. Oh, and it's a shark. It's a shark! Holy shit, there's two sharks. Oh my god. Holy crap, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. Alright, in the last part, we, we've been outside quite a bit now, for a while. We opened up the dam and got all the water to flood. Or not flood, but leave, you know. So we're going to go down this ladder, because it's now available to use. Because the water's gone. And we're entering a new zone. Don't really know what's beyond here. We did encounter a new a new enemy as well in the last part. It's some kind of like water mutated beast. And um, he's living in our shack at the moment. We didn't kill him, we just ran past him. So uh, it's a bit dangerous if we want to head back there and save or access our items. So what we have here is some kind of lift. So there we go, let's just go down. Why not? Who knows what's down here? I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of lab down here or something. Some kind of experiment. That's okay, so you got a blue herb. This blue herb's growing here, you don't need to use them now. Okay, so blue herbs are used for curing poison. So I'm guessing when we get, if we get poisoned around here, we can come here and just um, cure ourselves. Now there are crows flying around, and crows can damage us. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Let's pick up this green herb. And... Um, Let's move as well. Okay, the, the crow's right on our head. That's not good at all. I mean, I don't know how good it is to kill hit, kill crows. If it's like a thing you should really be doing. Or if it's just a waste of time. So the battery has been taken out. Um. So we need to find a battery then, I guess. That's for that lift. So that lift isn't working. So let's head over to this corner. The door we can go through. Here we go. So we're looking for a battery now to put inside this elevator to go up there. I don't really know where that leads to. Alright, so it looks like there's a red herb on the ground. That's good. We could actually use that to combine with the green one to make a full health herb. Um, there's holes in the floor there. It doesn't look like we can go in there. Oh my god, there's a snake. I hate snakes. There's two, there's three snakes! Snakes everywhere. Okay, and now there's another building. I don't know what this building is. Looks like uh, maybe like a guest house, I would guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, there's footsteps walking around, so there is something living in here. There's a blue hair there. I'm going to leave that blue hair there for the moment, just because my inventory is getting a little bit full. I don't want to fill it up just yet. There's three herbs there, actually. Is that a wind? That's a window, I think. Um, okay, there's a corridor here. Let's make our way down. Let's see. Um, have we got a map for this? No, we don't. Yeah, we do, actually. Um, so, the left door is locked, it seems. Let's check out this one. I don't know how that knows it's locked already. Normally, you have to try a door for it to go red. Okay, so there's a healing spray there. We got um, we got ink ribbon. Okay, there's also a typewriter to save, and we've also got a battery pack. Oh, there's a chest here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pick up all this healing spray and the herbs outside, and I'll bring them all into the chest. All right, so we just got done saving there, and we got all the blue herbs that are outside this door, and put them inside the chest. So let's get back outside here and explore the rest of this house. So if we look at the map, which direction is going to go, okay. The door here says it's locked, and we haven't even tried it yet, so... It's locked, the door plate reads 001. So is that like a hotel, like, room number? Like a... Can we push this? Why are we pushing this? Um, let's push it. Is there a hole in the floor? We push it against this box. Oh fuck! Um, what the fuck? Okay, I know what to do. 
You push that box over the hole, don't you? Then you climb over it instead of pushing it. Um. Okay, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I can't get the box back. So let's let's then just go. Let's quit back and do that again. Alright, okay, guys. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push this box over where I think the hole is, and um, when we need to get past it, we'll just climb over it instead of actually pushing it or getting moving out the way. So that looks like the hole there to me. So if we push there and then we jump on it. We should be okay not to jump down and not get attacked by the snake thingy. Yeah, the plant. That's cool. I saw that worked. Um, what is this here? This thing? It looks like like a stairwell or something. Or is it a box? Oh, it's a box. Okay. So we can climb up here. I don't know why. I guess it's when you make your way back so you don't take damage. If you didn't know that the um, thing would come there. So let's check out this door. Let's see what we've got. Um, something on the cabinet here. This doesn't seem to be anything useful. Okay, I thought that was standing out a little bit. Okay, close the windows. We close the windows. <laughs> I don't want shit jumping in the windows. Um, nothing really. It contains articles about stars. Oh, that's like what we are. Okay, that looks like it's locked. Let's just check it anyway. See what it says. It's locked. Door plate reads gallery. Okay, so why is it... What's causing it to be locked? It doesn't say that we need a specific key, you know? This 002. So these are, like, hotel rooms. No, that wasn't part of our deal. There's people inside. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? That sounds like Barry. So they're up to something, really. Um, there's a map of the residence. That's good. I take it, yes. Okay, so this is pretty big, this place. Um, you got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. What do you want to do with it? You, you see a giant beehive. Okay. Holy crap. Giant bees in the giant beehive. Shit, shit. Are they going to kill me? Should I shoot them? Well, they're gonna hear that, aren't they? The guys inside the room. Looks like the bees might have left. What's my health looking like? I took a little bit of damage from the bees. How can you take that much damage from a bee? Gives you a tiny sting. Oh, there he is. Um, it's better to use a pistol against these guys, isn't it? But, um, you know, that's all I've got equipped at the moment. So, this door with the guys in. So we try and go in? Okay, we're going in anyway. Let's see what happens. Jill! Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. Shit. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Barry, stop walking away, please! Don't worry. I'm just going to get some fresh air. What do you have a I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Okay, this guy's messed up now. He's up to something, like, really bad. And I sound like he might have been talking to Wesker. At that voice, you know, that badass voice. It sounded like Wesker's voice. Is there something that we can look at there? There we go. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in a comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantial stronger effect on this one. T-virus, okay. So the T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. And um, this goes on for quite a while, so we're not going to read all that. Um, so they are like the T virus. This is where it all starts. I didn't actually, obviously, I've never played this to completion. 
this Resident Evil, so I don't know the whole story. There's nothing special. It looks like you can move this chest, this damn... This bookshelf, you can. You can. Uh, gotta move it in the wrong direction there. Can you move it back? Okay, this isn't... Okay, you can push that back. Oh! If I push this over there... Hey, okay, so the guy he was talking to must have gone down here. Let's go check it out. There's a ladder here. Climb down. Um, wait a second. How am I doing for ammo? I've got like 11 shots. How much of the place have, not, have I not searched? Um, yeah, there's quite a bit I haven't searched. But So let's just go down anyway. Because if there's something like we need to do before, we'll probably find out. But we could encounter someone dangerous down here now. Because Barry's definitely up to something. He's not just talking to himself. Okay, so this is some kind of like a secret lab. Like Dexter's secret lab. And there's a box. Can we move the box if we want to? Yeah, we can. I don't know why you'd want to. Let's just push it this way first so it doesn't block the door. And then um, maybe something will start banging against the door and we can block it in, you know? Let's just check the corridors a little bit. Oh, may okay, so I'm guessing we can put these boxes in the water and walk across them. But for now, it's locked from the other side. Let's just check out this water. So, let me just try and push a box into the water. I don't see any other use for these boxes. Okay, so that's one box in the water. Um, it just, we can't seem to actually use it though. So if I push this one over there, let's see what happens. Okay, that one, I'll just have one out of the way. We still can't make our way across, so let's get a third box. That should make that should fill the last gap in. Oh, there's a lot of faffing around here, isn't there? <laughs> you think she'd just jump in the water and swim across? I mean, she's a Stars member. You think like they'd be trained for swimming at least? And still, um, I don't know what happens to Chris. You know, obviously, if you play as Chris, Jill's missing. So I don't know where the other person's meant to be. Maybe they've been picked up by Wesker at some point. And trapped. I think Wesker's a, yeah, Wesker's a bad guy in the later zombie games, um, Resident Evil games. So I don't know how he starts off. Because of course he's on our side at the moment. Um, okay, we can go through this door. Holy crap, what's this? It's all flooded. Something in the water. Oh, and it's a shark. It's a shark! Holy shit, there's two sharks. Oh my god. Holy crap, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. Where do I go? They can get anywhere they want because it's all in the water. Holy crap, there's a shark. Okay, this one goes upstairs, so maybe we can escape the sharks if we go up these stairs for the moment. I don't think they can reach up here yet because it's only up, to, only up to my ankles. And um, let's go for the door. Okay, it's locked. The words power room is written on the door. Okay, what's have we got a map of this place? Okay, so there's a door in the middle. If we go down these stairs and go to here left. Okay, the shark's in the way though. Yeah, the shark. They're trying to get to me, aren't they? They're following me. I'm gonna heal with this green hair by founder so I get to full health. Still got a spray in our inventory. Um the camera angle is a killer. Look at this. I can't tell if they're there or not. Is the door is this the door here? Yes. Okay, so the sharks swam away a little bit so we can get through this door. Oh my god, what is this? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Is that a thing like that's moving towards me, or is it just like stuck on the wall, like tentacles? Um, should I shoot it? I don't think I'm doing anything to it. That might have been a waste of ammo right there. But should I move around it when it's like stop when it stops swinging? Like now? Let's wait for the next time it stops like swinging, like now. Okay, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, what the hell? Is that? I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? 
I mean, it's all green, so it's not like red, you know, where it's, it's um, unexplored. It's 100% items. But maybe there's an activity you need to do, like press a button. So if I just, can I just move this and stand here? Okay, let me look at that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there to get there. I've got to get rid of this. So, uh, yeah, we can't do anything there just yet. So the sharks are here. Sharks are here. What is over there? It's like, is it a pump or something we can use? Uh, we just gotta be careful that there's no sharks. Um, okay, there's a shark right there. Oh, what? Shit. Okay, he's just gone through me. What's my health like? Oh my god, they hit like crazy. Two hits from them and you're dead. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. There's a shark there. Let's get a shark on the other side. Let's get across this, this gap. Let's make our way out of here. Where's the exit? The exit's around this side. Okay, let's run. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, there's a big shark. There's a big ass, huge ass, massive shark. Um, yeah, okay. So, we've got to do something to get rid of the tentacle things. I don't think we need to encounter the sharks in, in a fight. We've just got to um, get past them. So let's use that spray, because we're pretty busted up right there. Okay, so we've done everything we can down here for now. Um, what does this door say again? It's locked on the other side. Okay, so... There is a whole lot of the residents we haven't actually explored though, so we can still explore around there before we, we get lost for things to do. Hopefully Barry hasn't seen us come down here. Because <laughs> he's going to be like, what are you doing down here? You're not meant to go down there. How can I hear footsteps? Oh, there's a zombie there, that's why. Of course. Okie dokie. Um, let's bring him in this corner to try and evade him. He's got me. Give him a stun. It's a shame. Let's see. What is this? Is like a, a shirt is soaked in blood. That's not good. Alright, so. Um, there's blood on the wall there as well, on the door. Hang on a minute, there's a door inside that, that room. There's another door inside here to the left as soon as we go in. We haven't checked that out. I don't even see it. Should be, there's a door right there. Okay. I can hear something moving. Something shining on the wall there as well. Will you take the res residence key? Yes, please. So hopefully that's like a master key to unlock all the locked doors. Um, what have we got anything else in here? It's just a lot of water dripping. No, there's nothing else in here. So let's go through the door and let's check out the rest of the residence. Alright. So maybe this door that was locked down here we can now open. Let's try this out. No, it's still locked. The door plate reads gallery. Okay, so what key? What does this unlock? This new key that we just got. Let's go to the end of this corridor. Go through the door. I feel, I'll tell you what guys, since I've started using the um, the map, it makes getting around a lot easier. The first like four or five videos I did, I just didn't even, I kept forgetting to use the map. And I was wondering why I was always lost. Alright, so this is the start of the- Oh fuck, I didn't even know he was there. Oh, you shitbag. Oh, you joking me. Maybe it's better to have the box covering that one. I think it might be, you know, but I can't move it now. It's too late. Did he hit me? No, actually, he didn't even t damage me at all. That's good. Um, so, out of the doors that are locked, this door's locked. Okay, we used the key, so we can get in there now. There's no further use for this key, so it only unlocks that one door. What's my um, ammo looking like? I've got nine shots. I'm sure something just moved. Something's swinging in front of me. Let's check out this door first. It's only a small room in here. So I hope there's probably going to be something hit like like it's not meant to see in here. There's a zombie. What the fuck was that? What was that noise? Did someone lock me in the door? Okay, there's something I need to pick up in here because it's flashing red. I don't want to go too close to the zombie because um. Okay, let's pull out the plug because the zombie might get up. 
Let's see what's inside here. Last time we did this, there was a defensive item inside. So there's something inside the bathtub. What is that? The control room key. Huh, where was the... I think the control room might have been down the ladder. Alright, so... We're done in here, so we're going to leave the zombie locked in there. Well, I don't know what that noise was, though, that we heard when we first entered the bathroom. It's a bit weird. Alright, so in here now. We've got something we can pick up in here. Just gotta be careful not to um There we go, hello. This guy's gonna have to get his head blown off. Where's your head at, mate? Where is your head at? Nice. So hopefully he won't come back because um he's got no head. He's got no brain to function. Alright, pistol ammo. We haven't seen any of this for a long time. Let's pick it all up, eh? And Self-defense gun. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Suicide mode. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. Blah -de blah. So the guy must have killed himself and his friend. Are we done in here? We're done in here. I'm um, just checking everything else. Nah, actually, we're done. So what does that weapon do? Is it any good? Let's examine it. Self-defense gun. Check. A self-defense gun that fires 0.22 magnum rounds. One round has been fired already. So it's got, yeah, it's got 0.22 rounds. I don't have any more of them. I don't, unless that's, that's not 0.22, is it? 9mm that one is, okay. So we've got a key for the control room. Let's get back over there. Now, is that... Yeah, we haven't explored the, um, that door. How are we doing for health and stuff? We haven't got any healing. Let's just get a healing game. Um, which, which one's the um, safe room? Okay, guys, we just picked up some pistol ammo as well, so I've decided to um, get the pistol out. And I want to save the shotgun in case there's any, like, really dangerous enemies, because we're getting quite a bit into the game now. So there's going to be more and more dangerous enemies, and I want to have a powerful weapon to use against them. When we do encounter them. So, let's go check out these double doors. Oh my god, there's a massive spider on top of my head. When I was saying about dangerous enemies, have you seen that spider? So let's move forward. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh my shit, I don't like this. This is disgusting. There's a healing thing there. Um, shit. So where are we? This thing's going to be chasing the shit out of me now, isn't it? Look at Oh, nice. Some shotgun shells there. I suppose we should probably get the shotgun and kill the spider, but too late now. Take the red book. Yes. I don't know what the red book is. Take the first aid box. I think this is used to heal yourself. I've never used it. What is this? A green oil lamp. It's not lit. I should probably get the lighter for some reason. I don't know really know why it's going to help. I can't see where the spider is. Oh, shit. He's probably on the wall. There he is. Nice ass. Um, darts. Can we pick up the darts? Where would we want to? Okay, so we're going to bring the lighter in here. And we're going to light all these lamps. Um, maybe that will do something useful. Okay, the spider's on the wall on the other side of this gate. Oh my god, the, is there two of them? I think there might be two, you know. When to become one. Okay, let me see if I can shoot this guy from here. Missed. I found him down. Nice. 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 His leg came off. He didn't like that. He lost the leg. He put on my leg. Let's see if we can get this guy. It's a bit of a glitchy kill, like, but yeah. That worked. I think he might be dead. Can we shoot this one on the wall through the, through the gate? Yes, we can. I don't think he's dead, though. I think he just dropped down. So this guy looks like he might be dead. He's twitching, he's twitching, he's twitching. Why is it twitching? I don't like things that twitch. Let's see if we can shoot this. Okay, now hit that, that, that one's on its back now as well. Now if we leave this room and come back, will they get up? I hope they don't, but maybe they will. 
Wait, there's another lamp over here to light. There's a healing herb as well. Um, can we combine any herbs at the moment? No, we can't. Alright, so we're going to go back to the, the um, box again. We'll bring the lighter in here. We'll light all those candles. Like, I don't know why we'd want to, but, you know, there's an option to do that, I think. So, we may as well do that. Those spiders died pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick, if that is how they do die. So, um, hopefully, they are dead. <laughs> that would be nice. Alright, guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. So, um... In the next part, we'll take the light into that room with the spiders and we'll light the candles and see what happens. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!